Welcome back, tennis fans. Some more GTL news. This one, some would say, is very sad. I'm trying to turn it and make a positive of the story, and that is Iga Savontek will be missing the Madrid Masters, uh, which is starting right now as we speak. Uh, so the world number ones withdrawn, uh, citing a right shoulder injury. And the reason I am not too disappointed with the news is because I think she does deserve a break. She's just won four tournaments in a row. She's no doubtably played the best tennis we've seen this year. And I think coming up to a very busy period with her favourite slam coming up in Roland Garros, Rome and other Masters where she won last year very easily, uh, sort of double bageling Pliskova in the final. I think it's wise that she takes a little break and re-energises herself for the big weeks ahead. I can understand why some fans are disappointed. I don't understand any criticism for her. I've seen some. I think that is unwarranted. And I'm really happy that she's taken this decision because she needs the break, in my opinion. Uh, let's have a look at her winning streak. You can see her here. 23 matches in a row. Uh, that's equaling Nomi Osaka's recent record, uh, which ended in Miami. And you can see for the year here, 32 victories, three losses. Um, it's just crazy numbers. I mean, the girl doesn't stop winning. I'm pretty sure all of the other girls on the tour are quite, quite happy deep down that she's not playing this one because it gives them a chance. She's not been giving anyone a chance of late. And, well, one thing we're sure about, we're going to be seeing a new winner this week in Madrid. Uh, let's have a look at what she had to say. She said, unfortunately, my team and I decided that I need to withdraw from Madrid. I hope to see you next year. Uh, you got the full quote just here saying after intense last weeks and winning four titles in a row it's time to take care of my arm that has been fatigued since the Miami Open and I haven't had a chance to handle it properly I need a break from playing so intensively in order to treat my arm well and that's why unfortunately I have to withdraw from the Matua Madrid Open my body needs rest I'm going to take some time to prepare for Rome and Paris see you there Hopefully, I'll play Madrid many times in the future. Looking forward to it. Uh, so she sort of did allude to the fact that Rome and Paris are coming up. I know the WTA did say it was her shoulder. She's saying it's her arm. Ultimately, I don't think the injury is very severe at all. And it is just a case of having a break, which I can understand. Uh, I'm just going to end on this one because it's quite a comedic one. That's from Jay saying, Iga Savontek has withdrawn from the Matua Madrid Open due to wanting... Uh, to let the other girls have a chance to win something. And <laughs> you got to laugh because it generally does feel a bit like that at the moment. No one's coming close to her. And this is a chance for, for a new champion on the WTA Tour. Well, you never know. I've got another theory. Maybe she's having a bit of a sore arm and shoulder at the moment because she keeps winning these events and lifting all of these trophies high in the sky. <laughs> but anyway... Let me know in the comments section, what do you make of this news? I think it's great. It means Paola Badoza now will be the highest seed in the draw. Uh, a local girl from Madrid as well. Uh, and I can't wait for the whole tournament to begin. Look out for our streams we're going to be covering during the week. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon.